what is up you guys thank you for clicking on my youtube video my name is Haley, and if you're new here i would love for you to hit that subscribe button down below so you never miss any of my future videos so for today's video i am going to be creating a look with my james charles morphe palette this is my absolute favorite palette i feel like it has pretty much every color you would ever need in it and the colors are very pigmented but Yep, I'll be creating a look with this, so let's get into this video. Also, um, if you hear talking or cartoons, Bentley is chilling on my bed watching Sonic, so he may <laughs> pop in from time to time. So, you say hi? You say hi? Come on. Okay. Hey. Say, so, what's up? Yeah. What I do? I do. Quit picking your nose. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> oh, no, <I'm> you. <laughs> See you later. Alrighty, right, so here I am just doing my brows. I am taking the e.l.f. brow gel in natural brown and just running that through my brows. And then I will be taking the e.l.f. concealer sponge and just going over the concealer I used to prime my eyelids. Okay, so I have already primed my face with the e.l.f. glow primer stick. This is new, so I'm just trying it out. But then I go in with my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation and shade Creamy Nude. And I will just use my Eco Tools Beauty Blender and blend that out. <laughs> okay so after recovering from my little foundation accident i am going through and setting my face with the airspawn translucent powder and i just take that all over the t-zone and under the eyes just so none of those parts crease Alright guys, so this is the makeup look I came up with. So now I'm going to show you how to do this on this eye. First, I'm just going to be taking this blue shade right here. I will have all the um, color names linked down below, but I'm going to take that blue shade and I'm just going to pack it. Okay, on. so like I said, I'm just going to pack that blue color onto the lid. And it doesn't have to be perfect because everything's going to be blended out. I'm just really packing it in there. So. Okay, so now that I have all the blue on there that I want, I'm going to take the hot pink shade and I'm going to take that at the top of the blue and blend it out. Okay, and then I'm going to take the light pink shade and blend the top of the hot pink out just a little bit. So then I'm going to take this, where is it at? This angled brush and I'm going to take the dark purple color and I'm just going to make a line where the crease is. And I'm going to be looking down here because I have a mirror that's closer. I'm just going to put a little bit more of the hot pink at the top. Okay, so now that I have the purple one and the blue eyeshadow, 
how I would like it. I'm going to cut the crease and when I cut my crease, I like to take a wet like baby wipe or makeup wipe and just clear off the beginning. So now I'm going to go in with this Lip Bar Liquid Eyeshadow and it's an Ice Princess. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the white shadow and the palette and put it over that just to brighten it and use it a bit more. And then I'm going to take oh, what is this Stardust Glitter Eyeliner from e.l.f. and put that over the purple line. Okay, and then I will take, where is that? I'm gonna take my eyeliner. Um, it's from Absolute New York. I don't know the color because it has been rubbed off. And then I'm just gonna line right there and do a wing liner. Okay, so now that I've done the purple line and the, or not the purple line, the um, glitter line over the purple line, and then I've done my um, winged eyeliner, I'm going to take the tape off, and then I'm going to um, add this LA Girls Neon Liner, which is a shade fresh. I'm just going to add that to my waterline. Okay, and then I'm going to take the hot pink color and add that to my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go in for a inner corner highlighter. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child. And I'm going to use the shade Purple Horseshoe for the inner corner. Okay, and then I just need to add mascara and lashes and I will be right back. Alright guys, so I went through and I finished putting on my lashes and the mascara. I also added highlight and then I paired it with the e.l.f. lip plumping gloss and this is Parline. Um, I absolutely love this. I didn't know if I would like this nude color on me, but I think it looks really good. And normally if I go crazy on the eyes, I just do like a nude plain lip so not everything is so crazy. but. Yeah, this is the final look. I absolutely love the James Charles palette, so if you can get it, I definitely would. I feel like it's the perfect palette, has every color that I feel like you can need. Um, formula for the shadows are amazing. I absolutely love them. But yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos, and y'all have a great day.